so now here we'll understand the degree of freedom degree of freedom of uh, different elements okay as you know that there are different types of elements in fm so first you will have the 1d bar element that is one dimensional element so in a 1d bar element what are the different elements will be here now uh, like uh, you will have the bar okay or you will have the truss right so here in this case what will be the degree of freedom it means what will be the deformation or displacement for 1d bar element so bar and uh, trusses you will have the deformation at node so there will be one degree of freedom per node okay and if there is an this is only for when when uh, for example here i will make as first one is axial load okay if it is an axial loads and second one if it is an bending okay so bending or bending moments so here for axial load in 1d bar element for a bar or truss you will have what is that you will have the one degree of freedom one degree of freedom that is per node and where in case of there is an bending so bending in nothing but beam so beam is also in 1d bar element but there will be two degree of freedoms for beam there will be two degree of freedoms okay per node now if you take the 2d elements okay so for 2d element it will be like plane stress plane plane stress or plane strain or it can be axisymmetric okay so for this the degree of freedom will be 2 the degree of freedom will be 2 2 degree of freedom per node for axisymmetric or plane stress plane strain and if in case of bending there will be plate bending plate bending so here the degree of freedom will be for this three degree of freedom per node okay so one for by bending it will be added another for 3d elements for 3d elements like solid so here there will be three degree of freedom right three degree of freedom will be there at each node and for coming to bending there will be thick cell here the sh double l okay so here the degree of freedom will be six degree of freedom per node okay so for this is for the degree of freedom for 1d 2d and 3d so in the some competitive exam they may ask you or in the technical round they may ask you directly the about the degree of freedom for the different elements okay so thank you